All right, Nashville, we are back. And it's time for us to head into the year 10 playoffs with your defending, defending Stanley Cup champion, Nashville Predators. That's right, I said it. 10 years, baby. A decade of... I don't want to say a decade of dominance just yet because we struggled mightily until we got our first overall picks. But a decade of growth, a decade of turning it around here in Nashville, we are on the brink of becoming a dynasty. We are here with a bunch of Twitch viewers. We got a loaded house here tonight. I got to be very, very careful <laughs> because who knows what they're going to say. But here we go, year 10, with the opportunity for the three-peat. It doesn't get much better than this, all right? And in round number one, we're going up against the Arizona Coyotes. So let's take a look at the team that we're going up against. The big-time story that this team has is Brad Marchand. 43 years of age, 77 overall. The game says that he's an AHL bottom six forward, or at least that's his potential. His role is a minor league scoring forward. Yet, for some reason, the guy still goes off. 58 points this year in 80 games played. Last year with Edmonton, 98, 95, 94. <laughs> These are all in his 40s! Like, he has had an incredible career. And it actually brings into question what the overall numbers actually mean for simulation. Now, I'm not going to waste time here, right? But how does a guy with 73 acceleration, 73 agility, 75 speed, how is he even skating out there with the rest of everyone else? So, uh, maybe we don't want to focus on speed going forth, looking at certain players, right? Doesn't seem to mean that much. I didn't mean to back out there. So, back to the Arizona Coyotes. I mean, the 77 overall looks great. We should be able to take that. Their first line, though, Clayton Keller, Cal Samuelson. Who, when was he drafted? He was drafted second overall in 2027. And Aldridge Yager, third overall in 2025. This... 2025 was the same draft as Ukraine Wayne. So that was a stacked draft class right now. The 25-year-olds are, are, are dominating the NHL. Uh, Vidic, Vidic? I don't know who this guy is. Drafted by the Buffalo Sabres in 2023. Second line center is an 84 overall. And Darius Volk, a top 10 pick in 2028. He's up to 83 overall. So... If you're just looking on paper, like the overall numbers, I like what I see. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to compete against that. Their third line, Dylan Genther, Gunther, 86 overall. He's been there in his entire career. That's pretty good depth for your third line. Der Argenchets, the former Leaf prospect, uh, 81 overall. I mean, not great for the third line, not horrible. It's similar to us. Uh, Dylan Dubé, 83. So Genther really makes their third line quite nice. And then Denisenko, Reese, and LeBanc. So their depth is actually their strong point. Their weak point is their superstar talent up front, right? So can our first line just go off? Uh, their blue line, Jacob Chikorin and uh, Jake Mattier. All right, so Chikorin's good. Mattier, 79 overall on the first line. What kind of season did this guy have? A plus 17 with 10 points. <laughs> Brad Marchand, man. Brad Marchand. Uh, Yahir Brendamore and Marcus Lundstrom. I know Lundstrom was a top pick. Yeah, in 2024, he went third overall. That was year one. Uh, another one of those defensive defenseman uh, prospects rather than an offensive defenseman. And then a 74 and a 79. I mean, goddamn, they got three defensemen in the 70s, man. We should just annihilate this team. And go, oh, Jesus. All right. All right. So this is one of those situations where I'd almost rather face a, a beastly team in round one. Just so if we get beat, I can be like, hey, we went out in a good way. Like, this is setting up an absolute nightmare of a round one exit. If we lose to this team, an 80 overall goaltender, a 70 overall backup, three s defensemen in the 70 overall range, and not a single forward above 88 overall, there's no fucking way, right? There ain't no way we can uh, we can lose against this team. And here is your team. The year 10 Nashville Predators. Now, a lot of different um, ideas floating around with the Twitch scouts. They were saying our power play is not great this year. Why not make it better? Here's my whole point. We decided to hold on to the players and not make the trades last season because the idea of the three-peat was way too good to pass up. Now, we did extend Tomasino and we did extend McTavish, but two defensemen in Poirier and Kovalev, they're gone this year. They're walking, all right? We held on to them for this reason and this reason alone to three-peat. And if we're going to go for the three-peat, why would I want to change any of the lines, whether it's 5v5 power play or penalty kill, to the lines that we had last year? Last year, we won 11 games in a row to start the playoffs. We finished with 16 and 2 
I want to come back to that exact same team. So I have gone through the lines. Well, we basically basically did it during the regular season, and we have ensured that every single line is the exact same as last year's playoff run. Now, if we need a change, Tomasino for Fotinos on the power play, we can get that plus five, but we've already made that determination that it doesn't seem like chemistry matters that much. It seems like overall in player types and how the players simulate with one another, that really matters. So I'm just going off of the idea that last Last year we were absolutely dominant let's give these guys the chance to do it again let's give the responsibility to the players that have already delivered us two stanley cups in two years it's out of my hands i am no longer making decisions they either get it done or they don't and it's still been a great three years all right so that is the plan ladies and gentlemen we have uh we have edited the settings and turned off automated goalie rotations i'm pretty sure askarov is in the net let me just double check i think i've triple checked this but i just want to make sure but the, oh you know what one thing that is different last year askarov was 90 overall this year askarov is only 87 so when you think about our team we have taken a step back in terms of goaltending everything else has been fine injury report all right let's see if the arizona coyotes have any type of injuries right now go up to the top nothing all right so they have no uh, reinforcements coming their way they got no help they got a freaking ass team man i don't know how they finished where they did in the freaking standings they got home ice advantage they got they got a better regular season than us that's what scares me man that's what scares the living dog crap out of me so um, we got, uh, the Boston Bruins, Detroit, Tampa versus Toronto, Philly versus Ottawa, Washington versus Columbus, and in the East, oh man, Minnesota versus Colorado. We have beaten Minnesota two years in a row in the first round, and Colorado has been that team that when we face them, tough matchup. San Jose, Anaheim, and, uh, Vancouver versus Dallas. So if we can get by Arizona, it's going to be Colorado or Minnesota again, man. Oh my God. But before we do that, we have Brad Marsh yet. Ah! All right. All right. So things might not ever be as good as they are right now. Who knows how long it'll be before I can win two Stanley Cups and have the chance at the third, the three-peat, right? I don't want to start the simulation because right now I'm a back-to-back -back champion. And things can change so quickly. I'm just breathing in this moment. I'm a champion. Back-to-back. -back. Whatever happens, happens. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the playoffs in Arizona. Game number one, round number one. The Twitch scouts are here on board with us, ladies and gentlemen. Old Rich Yager. All right. Oh, it's going to be the friggin' battle of the 2025 draft class. Who got the better draft pick? Was it the first overall? I mean, we can't be angry with what Maxim Anisimov has done. He's already delivered two Stanley Cups. But last year's Conn Smythe winner, the man who absolutely dominated. God damn it. I was going to give a good call right there. Morgan Fotinos ties up the game. But Aldrich Yager, I mean... Think about Oldrich Yager. He's not connected to Yarmir Yager at all, but he's got that name. And that name, it shows up in the playoffs as well. Yarmir Yager, two-time Stanley Cup champion. Did he get a third? I think he got two-time Stanley Cup champion. Oh, God. Second period. Underway late Falk. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no. Now, what has been some of the uh, the patterns that we've seen in the past for our Nashville Predators? We can explode. We can score goals at will. And being down by two, hell, even being down by three in games. Oh, no, Denisenko. It was never the end of the world for us. Peter Char, the Twitch scouts. We're down by two going into the third. I'm not, I, I, I'm worried, but it's not over. It's certainly not over. Askarov not having a great game. We start, okay, we start the third period on a five-on-three penalty kill. We give them their fifth goal of the game. And it seems like the Arizona Coyotes came out swinging. I don't know why. I don't know what the simulation is seeing in their team in comparison to our team. They had a better regular season than we did, and now they're up one nothing in the series with a 5-2 ass-whooping over the Nashville Predators. What the hell happened in the third period with the penalties? We took... Jesus. Tomasino. Did we have one that... Uh... Nine seconds left. Oh, so that's what it was. Ramsey took the cross-checking with nine seconds left, and then Fotinos took a... No, 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 wait. And then it was Tomasino took a holding minor to start. Oh, my God. Not good. All right, so let's see who did what. I'm not making the line changes. I already said it to you guys, all right? It's their team. They get the chance to go for the three-peat. Minus three for Darius Hurd, Ramsey, 
Kovalev, yeah, the third line. It's all over the place. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. It's one game. It's one game. So we're not going to start the uh, a real rough start to the playoffs here for the Nashville Predators. Darius Hurd's been injured with an injured hip. All right, so let me... I think we got to just reunite the third line. They were great before, right? So let me take out Hurd. Let me put in Marsh. No, not Marsh. Stan Coben. Stan Coben's going in. Uh, and we're going to bring up Draper to the... Yeah, we're going to go to the third line that helped us in their first Stanley Cup victory. Um, Darius Hurd was there for last year. But if you remember in year... Or two years ago when we, when we won our first Stanley Cup, our third line really did go off. So I'm going to put Stan Coben back there with Ellison and Budenz. Draper's going to move up with Ramsey and Yarventi. And other than that, Darius Hurd, he is killing penalties. So I have to make that call. Hang on. Is he killing penalties? Where's Tomasino? Hurd is not. There he is. Tomasino and... So who could kill a penalty then for me? Uh, Fotinos. Yeah, I trust Fotinos. I'm playing my best players in those positions. Yep. I'm not playing no bottom six guys. Fotinos, you're on the penalty kill. Good luck, buddy. All right, Fotinos proved himself to be a con Smythe talent last season. I'm going to get him on the PK as well. All right, so the third line is back with it. We're down one nothing in the series. Not in trouble until you lose on home ice, though. So let's just, you know, let's just bounce back here, boys. All right, they got a shitty team. They start in the game on the power play again. Is this going to be like our year one playthrough where we take an incredible amount of penalties? It wasn't even that bad last season. It felt like the first time we won the Stanley Cup, we were taking two penalties a period. Uh, that's, definitely, um, <laughs> that's definitely not true, but that's what it felt like. First period of game number two coming to an end. All right, so at least we, we stopped the bleeding there. You know, in game number one, they got five goals. It seemed like they were scoring at will. Good job, good period for Askarov. Now we just need the offense to... To chip in here. Power play for the Arizona Coyotes goes nowhere again. Where's our power play, Zebras? Why don't you help us out a little bit? Halfway through the game, neither team opening up with any kind of goal scoring here. Don't know if we've had great chances or not. And oh, Samuelson. Here we go. I knew it. I knew it. The game was only going to smile at me or upon me for so long. It's time to get EA'd. It's time to get EA'd, ladies and gentlemen. Only down by one going into the third period. How is this team keeping us from scoring? The old, like, uh, They got fucking 79 overall on the first line blue line. They got an 80 overall goaltender game. Don't start with me, man. There you go. And Joel Lavalle ties up the game in the third period. Power play again for the Arizona Coyotes. Power play for Nashville. Oh, my God. Zebras, put the whistles away. What the hell are you doing? It's the playoffs, my man. Ten minutes to go here in the third period. Come on. How can we not score on these guys? This is really scaring me. We used to be a team that could score. At Will, we got three goals over the first two games in regulation. Overtime. We've been great in overtime. Oh, Marchand. Oh, no. Oh, no. The poise. Oh, no. Overtime underway. We need this. We power play. I need it. I need it. I need it. Come on, power play. You've had two chances in this game. One in the third, one in OT, and they can't come through for me. The fans might be onto something. The power play might be struggling right now. I just don't want to change anything. It worked beautifully last year. Der Argachensev, who the fuck, some Leaf prospect, scores in overtime, and the Arizona Coyotes take a 2-0 series lead. I knew it, man. I knew it. How? How are they this good defensively? It makes no sense, dude. How are they this good defensively? I've scored three goals in, 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 in like, seven periods. Darius Hurd's available. Play. I gotta get him back in the lineup. Yeah, we have to. Okay. It, 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 I, 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 change the power play oh man you guys want me to change the power play already i mean i guess you're right okay oh, wow we're chasing it already all right so tomasino off the power play for fotinos tomasino's going to the second line power play i can't believe i'm already being forced to change up the power play lines brutal absolutely brutal man i knew this was gonna, i'm gonna get swept i'm gonna get four games at uh, four games sweep out of the playoffs you know it you know it's gonna happen man darius heard all right, so Heard, you're going to get back in there. It's the playoffs, buddy. You're playing with the lingering injury. Do not care. Uh, Ramsey and Draper switch around. And then the penalty kill, the third line penalty kill. Instead of Fotinos, we're going to go back with Darius Heard. all right? There you go. So Darius Heard is back in there. So we are uh, we're really pushing ourselves right now. We are really getting into trouble. Now, we've been behind in previous playoff rounds, especially when we, when we, when we won that first Stanley Cup. It was the second year that we dominated. So we've been in this position before. 
Um, I'm not blaming Askarov. The first game, fine, but that second game he played, like, where's the offense? That's two games in a row now we failed to get the three goals by the end of regulation. I built this team for offense. There is no excuse. There is no excuse why we cannot score goals, all right? So on front of our home fans, another penalty. Penalties every fucking where. Thanks a lot, Zebras. They are sick and tired of the small market Nashville Predators being in the Stanley Cup Finals. They want the big boys in there. For God's sakes, man, I am taking way too many penalties. Why? I have no clue. Don't know why. Oh, Valk. I can't score goals. It's just they, they are one of those magical teams that have put together some piece of shit fucking lineup that can just keep the puck out of the net for some god-awful reason three defensemen in the 70s oh yeah not a superstar oh yeah 80 overall goaltender best defensive team in the nhl for fuck's sake man second period underway i'm starting to lose it a little bit here i i i, I, I was thinking it was going to be a great day man it's all setting up to be a perfect day it's my day Halfway through the game, Emil Yarventi. There you go. Third line, right? Third line, right wing. Now that Darius Hurd is back. There you go, Yarventi. Joel Lavalley, first line. All right, Joel's got back to back goals in back to back games. Anybody want to help out Joel? Maybe Maxim Anisimov has a couple of assists there. <sighs> Yaroslav, I mean, uh, it's, it's crazy that I already have to ask for your help, but I, we might not get a third goal by the end of regulation. I need you, Yaroslav. I need you. I need you, Yaroslav. I need you to steal one. We need to find our momentum. We need to find our confidence. Right now, we're playing like dog shit. And if we lose this game, we're down 3 nothing in the series. Yaroslav, I need you. I need defense. I need Yaroslav. Please. Please, God, Yaroslav, answer my prayers. Five minutes left. Please, God, Yaroslav. Yaroslav Askarov. All right. Veteran goaltender not allowing us to go down 3 nothing in this series. Again, though. Three games in, and we have failed to get three goals in regulation. Now, you can look at that two ways. You can say, hey, we're due, right? We're going to have that game where we explode eventually. It's bound to happen. But you can also look at it in another light where, for some reason, the Arizona Coyotes are defending quite well. They had a great regular season. And who knows what fucking stat I'm swearing. See, this is what happens. Who knows what stats EA Sports takes into account when you're doing the simulation? It might be poise for all I know. And Brad Marchand has probably got like the highest poise being 43 years of age. He's aging like a fine wine and it's helping out their simulation, man. All right. 2-1 series lead. At least it's not going to be a, a reverse sweep attempt. We can come back. We can win three in a row. We, worst case scenario. But I'd love to get this thing tied up at two. That way, like, two in a row, we can do that. We can manage that. All right? Offense. It's time. Three games in a row. Offense. It's time. It's time. Check Ukraine Wayne's points. All right, I'll do it after that. Uh, look, they're going to start the power. Look, they start each game on a five-on-three power play. Like, what is going on? Joel Lavalley. Oh, my God. He wants his con smite this year. It's Joel's turn. Duke. Duke Draper. Third line. No, fourth line. Fourth line center. It's time we get some goals. Yeah, it's time that the offense swings in our favor here. All right? It's been way too long. It's time we get some offense. Come on now, boys. Keep it pouring on. I want that third goal by the end of regulation. I'm sick and tired of seeing two. I'm sick and tired of seeing two. Come on now, Nashville. Where is that offense? Yaroslav is doing his job right now. Yaroslav has locked it down since that goal in, what was it, the first, the second period in the last game? Yaroslav has locked it down, and he's doing it again. A defensive series between these two teams. Who would have thought it, looking at that roster, right? Yaroslav, you got the routine in place, buddy. You got the routine in place. Just hold on to it, my man. And can we get that third goal by the end of regulation, please? Somebody power play for Arizona. A long one, sure. Why the hell not? Zebras just keep on gifting them ways. Look, here you go again. You want another fucking call? Here you go. I'm swearing. I gotta stop swearing. Five minutes left. Yaroslav. Yaroslav. Yaroslav, you beautiful bastard. Oh, we're tied up in twos. We're back. We're back. Yaroslav, great job, my man. Yaroslav Askarov has had three great games in a row. You can say what you want about that first game, but he has had three stellar games. All right? One goal in regulation, one goal in regulation, and a shutout. Hell yes. I'm not looking at anything. Joel Lavalley's got three goals in four games played. I know you guys want to see Anisimov stats. And let me just quickly show you. I don't want to change anything, though. Ukraine. Ukraine Wayne. We need you, buddy. I need you to step up here, Ukraine, Wayne. All right, so a 2-2 series tie. Any series that's been completed just yet? No, a lot of things that are 3-1, though. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Series all tied up. 
going back to Arizona. So far, the home, look, every game, they start on the power play. I think that's three games in a row now. A long one, though, for Nashville and Jamie Drysdale. It's not going to be a power play marker, but it's right after the power play. Followed up by Dylan Genther tying up the, the game from the third line for the Arizona Coyotes right there. Uh, it's like their depth. Maybe depth, maybe, maybe depth helps out with defense. I, I, like, I just, that goaltender, though, like, like, how are we not scoring goals? This is crazy. Second period, underway. Where's the offense, Nashville? Where's the offense? Take a 3-2 series lead. Let's not let Philip Tomasino. I was going to say, let's not let this opportunity slip through our fingers here. We've gotten great performances from Yaroslav Askarov. We just need the offense now. Power play goes nowhere. So we say, I've, I've, I've made the changes to the power play. Haven't seen it yet on the simulation with the power play goal. Again, though, Askarov is having a great game. Only a one goal advantage going into the third, though. I don't like this. I do not like this. Oh, power play. Holy shit. It is a, 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 an avalanche of power plays that are just hitting the Nashville Predator. Uh, penalty kills, sorry, that are hitting the Nashville Predators right now. But can Yaroslav Askarov do it again? No way. Five minutes? Four minutes? Yaroslav. Yaroslav. Yaroslav! Oh my god! What is happening? I'm getting goaltending? This has never happened to me. I've always had to build the team for offense to be... I'm getting fucking amazing goaltending right now. What is happening, Yaroslav? That's four games in a row, my man. You haven't allowed one goal in in in, in over three periods. What? Yaroslav, my man, maybe it's... Maybe it's Yaroslav's time to win the Conn Smythe. All right. I mean, this has been a series where we fell down, but it's almost like it's almost like we're not playing well, but yet we're still up, which gives me hope to think that we are the better team. It's just the simulation is being dog shit for us right now. But get all that dog shit simulation out of the way, and then we can get some good sims for us going forward, right? You know what I mean? All right. On front of our home fans, the chance for the fourth year in a row to get to the second round? I mean, come on. Here it is. First period underway in Nashville, Tennessee, baby. Duke Draper opens up the goal scoring, scoring on Tristan Jerry. Oh, the Duke. Morgan Fotino is my third line, my second line. No, sorry, Duke is on the fourth line right now. My fourth line, my second line. Oldrich Yager, though. My first line, Philip Tomasino. And for the first time in the series, game six, the Nashville Predators get three goals before the end of regulation. Six! Six freaking games it took us. All right, now that, that uh, we, we, we got to have it now, right? Now that we got the goals, Yaroslav is still going to play well, unless they keep giving him freaking penalties. And uh, you got to think we're going to score more than three. It's going to open up. The floodgates are going to open up. Arizona's going to lose their confidence. They're a younger team. They haven't been there. They had a great regular season, but it ain't the time. Vidic. Did it check? Did it, whatever his damn name is, he gets them back within one. All right, so the streak for Yaroslav comes to an end as well. Boys, we don't want it. We don't want to force a game seven. We don't. This is one of those teams that you can lose. You can lose horrifically. You've got to get this done right here, right now, on front of your fans in Nashville. This is it. This is key. This is it. Third period underway. You got to get it done. You got to get it done, boyos. I need offense. Captain Ukraine Wayne, now would be the time to really step up and show us something. Or is this series going to be about one man putting his whole team on his shoulders and carrying us to the finish line? Yaroslav Askarov gets the Nashville Predators back into the second round. <sighs> Thank you, Yaroslav. I'm not... I was getting so nervous there. My team is not performing well, but we finally got a series where the goaltender got me the win. I can't remember a series where a goalie got me the fucking W. Yaroslav Askarov, you are amazing, buddy. And the Nashville Predators are not going to be embarrassed in round one. They're going to move off to round number two, ladies and gentlemen. And in round two, what do we have? What do we have? Oh no. Oh no. The two best teams in the NHL over the last five years coming together one more time. Maybe for the last time because Colorado is getting up there in age. Nathan McKinnon and Kale McCarr. 
All righty, so off to the second round to face off against our rivals, the Colorado Avalanche. Now, before we continue, the Twitch scouts are asking me to take a look at some of the stats. Um, it's kind of hard to look at the stats after the first round because they start to blend together, but we can take a look at some of our team stats like the power play and the penalty kill. They really want to see the penalty kill because we were killing everything. Yaroslav is doing a great job. So the power play percentage, we are... Uh, why, am I, why am I in the East? Okay, Western Conference. Power play percentage, we are... We are 0 for 12 on the power play. You, that's got to like, That has got to turn around. I've never seen such nonsense in my life. 0 for 12 on the power play? What are the Zebras doing to me, man? What are they doing to me? The Arizona Coyotes went on the power play 25 times. The Nashville Predators went on the, play, uh, the power play 12 times. They had more than double the power play than I had. How is that even possible? How the fuck, Zebras? That's ridiculous. EA, you got to add some of that new uh, programming into your game. The penalty kill. Well, second to, uh, or third. Well, we're not scoring in this power play either. Colorado's got 100% penalty kill. <laughs> when it rains, it pours, ladies and gentlemen. So, Joel LaValle, good. Uh, yep. Oh, there you go. The first line came around. They got they they got it done. They did. But the the, the true man of the first round, Yaroslav Askarov. 938. <laughs> never, never in my life have I ever seen a goaltender steal me a playoff series like that. Never in my life. Oh my god. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we have the Colorado Avalanche. Now, if we lose to the Avalanche, I was saying it earlier, at least it's a top tier team and we keep the aura. Of of being a contending team around us. We lost the Arizona Coyotes right there. Our stock, our value would have dropped, right? But losing to these guys, although they are getting older, Nate McKinnon is down to an 89 overall. Now, we have faced him in the past when he was 95, 94, 96 overall. I don't... Was he 96? He might have been 96. I know he was in the 90s, mid-90s. The fact that he's dropped down to 89 is big, but remember what we saw with Brad Marchand. Certain stats don't even matter. I'm sure he can still get it done. Rantanen on his line, still 91. That is still a filthy first line. Although Dora Fa Oh, I remember this guy. Dora Fayev on the first line left wing. Uh, Andre Burakovsky, JT Miller, and Mason Shaw. Our second line of Chara, Fotinos, and McTavish should slaughter their second line. Third line, looking all right. Fourth line, looking all right. They got some depth. Blue line, Byram. Oh, oh, he's still he's still as good as. Yep, he's still he's he's still the best defenseman in the NHL without question. He still might be the best player in the NHL. 96 overall, still franchise potential. 33 years of age, alongside of an 89 overall, Bowen Byram. Uh, Samuel Gerrard's in there. He ain't no slouch either. That is, uh, that's a problem. That is a major problem because you look at their power play and uh, given the fact that we give up how many goddamn penalties per game, I don't know why. It just simulates that way. McKinnon, Rantanen, Makar, Kiva Harju, and JT Miller. There's enough firepower on that power play to really make us regret life. And then, uh, whoa, JT Miller playing goaltender. Hugo Almfelt playing a goaltender. Almfelt, I've faced him in the past as well. All right, so, I mean, yeah, this is the rivalry. They have beat us in the past. We have beat them. I mean, they beat us to go on their 16-1 trip to win the Stanley Cup, or was it 16-0, 16-1? We beat them to go on our first Stanley Cup run. I don't think we faced them last year in the playoffs. I can't remember, but definitely in the first year. And here we go again, Colorado versus Nashville. This is the rivalry of the NHL. This is... The same as LA versus Chicago of the 2010s. You know, this is the 2020 battle. Now that we're, well, we're entering into the 2030s. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. In Colorado for game number one. Let me bring back the Twitch scouts. It is underway. It is. Round two is underway in the Mile High City. And Lucas Reichel is going to open up the goal score. Oh, God. Dora Fyfe. <laughs> all that great goaltending. All that great defense. Yeah, we're due. We're definitely due for a game where we get scored on again. Don't you dare start saying Askarov in the chat. We're not here without Yaroslav Askarov. I don't care. He wants to have one bad game. If he can deliver four good games after one bad game, I'll take that trade every single time. So shut your damn mouths. Down by three. So be it. Although the trend is continuing here, which is frightening me. We're not scoring goals. There's Fotino scoring. Good timing right there. But even through the first round, like, where's the game where we get, like, five, six, seven? That was happening constantly last year. And it is a struggle. 
For some reason, the simulation sees us as a defensive team this, te this season. I don't know why. Exact same team on paper. And there he is, Ukraine Wayne, sparking his team with a little bit of life there, getting the team back within two at the end of the second period. That's a huge goal. That's a low-key huge goal right there. It could be, it could be massive. It could mean nothing. Especially if Colorado just gets a quick one right here. But, yeah, that's a huge goal. Huge goal by Ukraine Wayne. Peter Chara gets us back within one with 15 minutes left. Here's the team that I built. The offensive juggernaut that it can explode for offense. Three goals by the end of regulation by Lucas Reichel. Too many goals against in this game against Colorado. Late power play. Can't be, uh, can't, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Dallas Ellison scores. We're down by one, 30 seconds. Oh, and Raddy gets the empty netter. What a wild game one here in Colorado, ladies and gentlemen. If you bought a ticket to this one, you were entertained, and you're going home happy as well. Your abs ended up getting that W. Woo, we made it a game, though. Huge, huge, huge goal by uh, Ukraine wing. Huge goal. All right, so. It is what it is. But I like what I saw in that game in terms of offense. We exploded for offense, right? They got it early as well, but as long as that's happening for us, I'm very happy with that simulation. All right, so for some reason, the Arizona Coyotes were a great defensive team, man. I don't know how. All right, so game one goes to Colorado. Game two, let's just get right back to it. Let's get right back to it, and let's see if our power, our power play can maybe get a little bit better here. Have we scored a power play goal yet? Speaking of power play, Colorado gets the first one. Goddamn Zebras, man. This team. Who's the one taking penalties on this team? Kovalev's on my third line defensive pairing. Is it McTavish? Is it Char? Is it somebody with all the bodies? JT Miller at 79 overall, was he? Goddamn, man. Scoring on Yaroslav Askarov. All right, so the Colorado Avalanche have that one nothing lead after one. Second period. Change the power play again. We'll go back with Tomasino. I mean, what do you want from me? I listened to you guys. I tried changing it. I don't want to be chasing something like this. Miko Rantanen and giving them a 2 nothing lead. Yeah, we're not scoring goals, man. The first game might have just been an anomaly. Although, wait a minute, Rasmus Dahlin. Here we go. It just take a while to wake up. Like, where's my first period goals? You know what I mean? That's more accurate. We're getting some goals late, I guess. One goal by the end of the second period. Yeah, this is... This doesn't feel like the dominating team that we had last season. This doesn't. This feels like a team that's going to get knocked out of the playoffs. Just a matter of time. But Jamie Drysdale ties it up. Here comes the offense now. Power play for Colorado. Of course. Of course. A long one. Of course. Ten minutes to go. All tied up at twos. Come on, Nashville. Power play. Power play. Now's the time. Fucking power play. Oh, Dora 5. We needed that power play marker. And then they're going to get one late. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The power play is dropping the ball, man. Uh, not only do we not score, then they get the 5v5 goal, and we fail to get the third goal by the end of regulation again. Again, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so there's only one thing I can do. The power play is not working no matter what, so I'm just going to go back with Tomasino. All right, it, it, chemistry, I don't think chemistry matters at all in this game. I really don't. All right, so I'm going back with Tomasino, Darlene Drysdale. It's all of our best offensive guys, best offensive, best overall, best offensive awareness guys on the power play. Five forwards on the power play? No, no, we're just going to leave it the way it is. I am thinking about uh, if, any, if I have any fans that were here during 2021 with the Toronto Maple Leafs. We were down 3 nothing in a series and we made a crazy decision for the fourth line. I might I I might I might I might have to do something here. I I I I, I might I might have to do something here. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, down 2 nothing against the Colorado Avalanche. The same situation we were against the Arizona Coyotes, but we didn't lose on home ice yet. We haven't lost on home ice this uh, this season. Uh, in this playoff run, I should say. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are we going to go down 3 nothing to the Colorado Avalanche? Or are we going to find a way to win on front of our fans here in Nashville? Pow like, fucking hell, man. I, I, I've put together a great... We just spent the first six minutes killing penalties to then get scored on. It's not even fair. Like, I'm not even playing 5v5 most of the game. I'm killing penalties, man. Like, this is just bullshit. Raise, oh, Nathan McKinnon at 89. No, we're just not that team this year. The penalties are a problem. I, 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 I did not think about this when I was constructing the team. Like, who the fuck is taking the penalties? Poirier hooking Boudin cross. Like, fourth line two-way. Like, they're not even like, like, Poirier's an offensive defenseman. You know what I mean? Like, what's causing, what fucking tweak in the simulation is dictating that my team is a penalty-taking team? 
Is it because Marsh is is scratched and the game sees that I have a tough guy in my lineup, even though he's not playing, so it adds an extra attribute to penalties taken for the simulation? Like, what is happening? What is what's what's making this fucking happen, man? It's so brutal. I don't get it. If I put a team full of snipers and playmakers and offensive defensemen, would I I'd still get them probably? <sighs> Second period underway. Peter Char, he's scoring some big goals as well, getting his team back in it. All right, it's not over just yet. Morgan Fotinos. What's with the slow starts, you stupid morons? Where's the first period like that? I'm yelling down at my team from the press box right now. I'm not allowed to talk to the players anymore because I said it at the beginning of the video. It's their, it's their team. It's their year. They've earned this right. They've earned the opportunity. I'm not going to micromanage them. Holy shit. 27 shots to 13. We got 13 shots in this game. How? Where's the offense? I got Darlene, Drysdale, Anisimov, Lavalli, Tomasino, Fotinos, McTavish, Chara. Fucking, I got so many options. How I only have 13 shots? Chara on the first line power play. Oh, for God's sakes. I, I, I hate playing this game. I really hate playing this game. Third period underway. Power play for Colorado. Power play for Nashville. Fuck. The power plays yet to score a goal. We're in the second round. Game three. Six games in the first round, three games in the second, but nine games in, I haven't scored a power play goal. Five minutes left. We're all tied up at twos. <sighs> JT Miller, a late goal. It's just not our year. It's just not our, it's the Colorado Avalanche. It's their swan song. They're going out with a bang. I, 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 we're just not that team this year. We're not that team. Should have tried it. I mean, should have unloaded all of our players last season, but it is what it is. Oh my God. I have, I have no clue, man. Who's the minus players? Dali, like my first line. My first line's getting torched. It's it's just McCarr and McKinnon. They're just torching me. Well, <laughs> when it rains, it pours. First line defenseman going. You know what? Fuck it. We got nothing to lose. Let's go. We got nothing to lose. Let's go. Uh, roster management. Yeah, I'll just replace the player for right now. All right. We got nothing to lose. Sim to next game. Let's see if Drysdale comes back. Probably not. No. All right. All right, so we got nothing to lose. Let's go crazy with the uh, the power play strategies, all right? So power play. Tomasino, get your ass off there. Chara, we're listening to the Twitch scouts. Peter Chara is getting the chance on the power play, all right? Darlene and Panay. I, I, I got to put, uh, put Poirier in there. All right, second line power play, Westcott, Panayi. Yeah, sure, Panayi can go in there. Sure, why not? Fuck it. Um, even strength. All right, I'm doing it. Who's worse? Ellison, you're a plus one. Boudin's are a minus one. Boudin's are off. Marsh, you're going in, buddy. Marsh has not played a single NHL game yet. He's a six foot seven, two hundred and forty eight pound enforcer, drafted in the fifth round, twenty one years of age. He has absolutely no stats since uh, 29, 2030 when he played with the uh, Owen Sound from the OHL. Uh, he's getting the chance to play, baby. Marsh, Nicholas Marsh. I need to change it up. I need to inject some sort of electricity into this damn lineup, all right? So, Marsh, you're getting the chance. And then Drysdale. Drysdale's basically everywhere. So, four-man power play, Weske, whatever. Penalty kill. The penalty kill I got to worry about, though, yeah. So, we'll go Westcott. You're getting the chance, buddy. We're moving you up the lineup. Kovalev and Poirier. All right, and then Hatika and Panayi. Now, instead of Hatika, is there someone in the AHL I could bring up? Instead of Hatika, do we have somebody who's like Metropolitan Donovan? Not really. Hatika's the best. Metropolitan it would be, but 85 offensive awareness, 83 defensive awareness. Let's see, Hatika, what's his name? Uh, 78. Okay, let's bring him up. Metropolitan, you're coming up, buddy. Uh, options. Roster moves. We're bringing up our young guns, all right? They're coming up to the a and the uh, NHL to get the chance. I'm not playing that guy. That other guy was shit. Metropolitan, you're getting the chance, buddy. Bang. Bring up uh, da the uh, Demon Damon Donovan. No, not doing that. He's 77 overall. He wasn't good enough. Uh, edit the AHL lines. Don't care about the AHL lines. I'm not, I'm not paying attention to this right now. Head coach prefer lines. There you go. NHL. Defense. All right, so Darlene. Who do we want on the line with Darlene? Uh, I want offense, so Poirier. I'm going Poirier. We're going to get that offense up, up there. And then Westcott, you can play with Kovalev. And then back here, lefty, Metropolitan, you're going to get in there. All right, now what's our chemistry? Chemistry is fine. So Panayi and Metropolitan, they, the, they played in the AHL together. Westcott and Kovalev and Poirier and Darlene, all right? Uh, power play. That looks good. That looks good. 
uh, four on four lines. Yeah, sure. I'll just change this right now. There you go. Just all the, the top lines, three on three lines is already Dali and we're fine. Regular season is different playoffs. You're not going to get much other than five V five and, uh, five V four power plays, some five V threes. Uh, but 5v3 is the same as 5v4, so you don't have to actually change that. All right, so what will Nicholas Marsh do on the fourth line? Uh, Drysdale out with injury, Poirier, and also Chara on the power play. Those are the three big changes I really don't see us coming back in this one. Um, I could tell just from the beginning of the, the series against Arizona, we're not simulating like we have in the past. It's just, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Four forwards? What are you guys saying? Four forwards. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Read the goddamn chat. Waste it. You idiot. Bench an easy moth. Four fo What are you guys saying four forwards for? The power play? Four forwards? I mean, who else? All right. So they they, they want four. Uh, the, the, Poirier's got great offensive awareness. He's got nine. No. Get the hell. I'm not listening to them. No, I already listened to you once. Not listening to you again. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Three nothing series lead for the Colorado Avalanche over the Nashville Predators. Is the dynasty coming to an end? I mean, we still have a chance to continue it. But is this run coming to an end on front of our fans? Here we go. <laughs> Power play to start the game. I swear, there's there is some sort of programming note that's been clicked that is telling the game that my team is one to take penalties, and I don't know what it is, man. Samuel Gerrard's gonna open up the goal scoring. There he is, Ukraine Wayne. Ukraine Wayne, back to back goals. He gets two goals in ten seconds. Where was that the rest of the damn playoffs, Ukraine? All right, it's big. 13 shots to seven. They're out shooting me again as well. Holy crap, man. I just can't. I can't. I can't beat them. They're just too OP. They're just too OP. I mean, they're out shooting me like this. Yeah, power play. Here we go. Yeah. Do I get a power play game? Power play. Here we go. Yeah. Three for them. None for me. Like, it's crazy. I don't know what I've done to take on these many pen uh, penalties, but it just, it kills. There's another one. I got one. Our power play didn't score. 2-1 lead going into the third period. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. Our season on the line. Can we keep it going? Power play again. Long one. Yeah. Fuck me. It's brutal, isn't it? Like, this is absolutely crazy what I'm witnessing right here. Halfway through the third, can the Nashville Predators give their fans one more good night? Go home feeling hopeful, being happy, enjoying the time that we've had together. <sighs> Motherfucking Dorofayev! Oh my god, who the fuck is this piece of shit on the first law? Oh yeah, laugh it up, assholes. Laugh it up. They just, they all want to see me fail. They all want to see me fail, man. God damn it, this could have been such a beautiful day. I, I, my birthday, three Pete, three Stanley Cups. We could have started NHL 24 GM mode. No, no. The game says you've had enough. We're going to fuck with you now. And because it's an elimination game, I got to jump in and... Son of a bitch. Holy shit. All right, all right. Before we fucking start this piece of dog shit, go, getting scored on by Dora Fayev with 43 seconds left is bad enough, right? They tie it up with 43 seconds left. And then fucking three seconds after the face-off drop, Morgan Fotinos takes a penalty? A tripping call? So they tie it up in less than a minute, and then they take a fucking, then we take a penalty, and we have to kill a minute and 40 seconds to start overtime. I, I, I don't know what to do. This was the year of just getting screwed by the zebra. Look at this. Look at this. A minute and 40 to start overtime on the penalty kill. Well, it's over, ladies and gentlemen. The Colorado Avalanche have got this one. There's no way we hold on for that long. Nathan McKinnon, no way, no way. Nathan McKinnon dances around defenseman. Quick shot, Yaroslav Askarov throws it out. Westcott, own goal. Why not? Have a blast. Just throw everything at me. The kitchen sink involved as well. Joe Lavalley, Joe Lavalley trying to dance through, trying to create a shorthanded chance. My boys are still going for offense. I wish they wouldn't, but I'm not messing around with the strategies. Nathan McKinnon drop pass. JT Miller, quick shot. JT picks up the rebound. Get it down the ice and him off. What are you doing? Anisimov wants to score. Look at the speed. Ukraine Wayne. Oh, short side shot. What a good save by Allenfeld. All right, only a minute to go. Man, it's a freaking, we're, 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 we're four checking. We're freaking four checking. Edgar Westcott. There you go. Get up to Ukraine Wayne again. Go with it, Ukraine. Just skate. You're faster than everyone. The attribute upgrade. Oh, 
Ukraine around the outside. Joe Lavalley. Joe Lavalley. Joe Lavalley tries to stuff it in short side. They're going for it. My boys are going for it. 40 seconds left. Joe Lavalley back to the point. We're playing it back to the point in the penalty kill. Okay. Joe Lavalley. Nishimov. Back out. Oh my god. Ukraine Wayne. He keeps the season alive with a shorthanded overtime goal. I can't even make the call. I can't believe what I just witnessed. Ukraine Wayne. A hat trick hero. We're not going out like that. One more great night for our fans here in Nashville. Good job, Ukraine Wayne. Maxim Anisimov. Maybe that's the moment. Oh my god, I don't believe it. I almost lost my voice right there. I was going to scream too freaking loud. Ukraine Wayne has one more great moment that might cap off this run because we still are down 3-1 against Colorado, right? We have a long way to go. However... That being said, what a great moment, you know? We're not going to get swept out in the second round. Ukraine Wayne, with the hat trick, wins it in overtime and sends his fans home happy at least one more time. But now, this is the one where Colorado wants to get it done. Game 5 in Colorado. Anisimov, 8 points in 10 games played. 1-0 with Marsh. 1-0 with the changes. This is what I mean. you got nothing to lose. <laughs> But we still didn't simulate very well, right? Two goals by the end of regulation, and they tied it up. For some reason, our team is just not as dominant as it has been in previous years. It is what it is. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game 5, season on the line again. And JT Miller's going to open up with, what, less than two minutes into the game. Just over a minute, yeah. That, I feel like that Game 4 overtime winner, that might have been our walk-off. You know what I mean? That might have been the signal to the fans that, yeah, we still got a bright future. We won the two Stanley Cups, but there's a reality to this thing. You can't win it every single year, and the Colorado Avalanche are looking pretty good. So if it's a way to go out, it's a good way to go out. At least I got that moment right there, so I am happy with it. Second period underway. Can the Nashville Predators do anything? I mean, you got to feel like all the momentum is with the Colorado Avalanche right now, you know? It's it's power play. We're getting some power plays. I, have we scored a power play goal? <laughs> it's crazy. I don't get it. We're going to have to take a look at that stat again. I think I am going to go <laughs> fucking... What is that? 11 games without scoring a power play goal, man. <laughs> Chara did. Chara got one. One for 22. All right. So third period. We're down by one. This is just the way it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's just the way it is. Power play again for the Colorado Avalanche. Nathan McKinnon is going to score on that power play. And the great three-year... Wait a minute now. Joel Lavalle is not ready to call it yet. He is not ready to say die yet. Seven, six, five. You know what? We're going out. Let's go out watching it. Why is my fourth line out there? Why is Marsh out there? Oh my god. I don't know. Marsh is out there, boys. There's the enforcer. He's out there with Ellison. I want my first line out there. They started my fourth line. The game wants me to lose. The game wants me to lose so much. It's brutal. And yes, I know you guys can't hear any audio right now. I apologize for that. I'm just going to have to deal with it. Dora Fayev looking to end the Nashville Predator season. We get that insurance mark. I got to get back to the first line, man. I got to get back to the first line. Let's go. You got to change it up. You guys, I knew it. I can't go for a line change without it being a huge turnover. Westcott, get it up the ice, boys. A minute 34. Get it up the ice. I think I got Anisimov out there. There you go. Kick it to the right wing where nobody is. Anisimov, go with the Ukraine Wayne. Tie the game up. 125 left. Ukraine around Kale McCarr. In the middle. Lavalley, quick shot. Oh my God. Anisimov doing great things. Westcott tipped in front. Tipped in front by Thomas you know what a save though Lavalley up against Bo and Byram all right we gotta press boys we gotta press full pressure everything's a full attack I'm leaving my first line out there I don't care if they're tired Lavalley back skating here he is Lavalley in the middle Tomasino Lavalley oh, what a save by Ongfault what a save I don't believe it oh and he's him off again and he's him off you crazy <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't talk. I'm losing my voice. I don't believe it. Ukraine Wayne ties it up at the end of the game. The Predators will not say die. What a save by Enfault on Lavalley or Thomas Zeno. I forget who it was. And then, and then, my boy. My boy. All right, second line out there. They did it for me. McTavish, Fotinos, and uh, Chara, Peter Chara. Please, please get this thing back to Nashville. This would be the incredible comeback. This would be incredible. JT Miller up to Burakovsky. Uh oh, Burakovsky. Quick shot. Good save by Yaroslav. 
There you go, Poirier. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what a scary-ass pass. It's out. It's out. It's offside. Get that puck off Bowen Byram. Bowen Byram around the outside. Bowen Byram now is showing off those wheels. We're 38 seconds remaining, man. Who's got the over... That is basically overtime now. Byram. Oh, Byram at the point still. We can't take it off of Bowen Byram. JT Miller, they're playing it around the outside. Shaw wants it and rips it. Who the fuck? Mason Shaw. What's his name? No. What are we doing, man? We're just sitting around doing nothing. Mason Shaw's second goal of the playoffs. All right, hang on. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. Manage team. Call a timeout. I might have to pull the goaltender. I'll do that after. Call a timeout. Yeah, call a timeout. Did I call a timeout? Yeah, we did. We did call the timeout. Okay, good. We're not going to talk on the bench. All right, so Lavalle and Isimov's out there. I got to get the puck in deep. We got to go for the, the freaking goalie change. Got to pull the goaltender. We got to win the faceoff first, though. Lavalle loses the faceoff. Ranton in. Go for check. For check. Everyone push. Push forward. Push forward. We got to take the puck off of him. Get him. Oh, no. McKinnon walking in. Get the puck, somebody. Oh, they're not even going to it. They're not. Go. Go. Tomasino. Oh, my God. Joe Lavalle. Six seconds left. Oh, he gets crushed. Oh, my God. Lavalle gets absolutely toasted. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Ukraine Wayne did it. And then the game switched to my second line and they dropped the ball. <laughs> the game was teasing me. I thought, imagine we come back from this four, a three nothing deficit with game after game of Ukraine Wayne tying it up. It would have been amazing. But like I said, back to reality. There goes gravity. And we're no longer Stanley Cup champions. Oh, the Colorado Avalanche have defeated us. So, ladies and gentlemen, the streak comes to an end. We are not going to three-peat. The three-peat is still something elusive that I have never been able to win in my GM mode commentaries since we started live streaming, since we started doing it legitimately. I think with the Leafs, we got two, but it was like two in four years or two in five years or something like that. With the, um, the Seattle Stallions, I think I got back-to-back -back in three out of four years. So we still have the chance to tie three out of four, but the three-peat is dead. Ah. Oh. So painful. So, with that bad news, we might as well continue the simulation and get all the way to the NHL entry draft. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of these stats. The one stat I want to take a look at. The one stat I want to take a look at right now. What in the fuck happened? Power play. Why does it go to the Eastern Conference? I'm in the West. I had 21 power plays and I scored on one of them. Now, like what, what, what EA, what, like what, what is that? Like why, why did my power play just suck donkey dick all of a sudden? What in the simulation enabled that to happen? No effing clue, right? And then, hang on a second, penalty kill. Does the show like times on the penalty? Time's shorthanded. Here we go. Look at this. The Nashville Predators 42. What about the Colorado Avalanche? In the same amount of games that the Avalanche have played with me, because the Avalanche went to game six as well, they had 17 penalties. I had 42. Like, what? Who is the fucker taking penalties on my team, man? Hang on a second. Player stats. Who's, who's, who, like, that's crazy. Morgan Fotinos. Cameron Ramsey. McTavish. Westcott. Heard. Thomasine. I mean, they're like all taking penalties. That's crazy, man. It's like, I thought the defensive defense, I thought it'd be Kovalev. How's Poirier, an offensive defenseman, taking penalties? Thomasino. Thomasino's a playmaker. Didn't even like have eight penalties a minute during the whole regular season. 41. I'm like, crazy, man. The penalties just kick into an extra gear when we get to the friggin' playoffs. And Askarov, Askarov, it wasn't Askarov. We just didn't score goals. We are a goal-scoring team that didn't have any power play to help us out. So, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Discipline? Oh, yeah, because the discipline stat helps. I'm sure it's just... Nah, whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever. All right, so let's continue the simulation and see... Oh, that was another one. Jamie Drysdale. <laughs> Roster moves. Who do I got to send down? Metropolit? Defenseman. Let me just send down uh, Hatika. There you go. Excuse me. Oh my god, now that I've calmed down a little bit, I'm going to get all cold. 
All right, so you got Anaheim versus Colorado. Tampa Bay gets through in the uh, the Eastern Conference. Ottawa trying to come back against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Oh, my God. I'm getting all congested now. Hang on. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're going to have to wrap this up. So, 4-1-4-1. Game 7 between the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Ottawa Senators. And it's the Ottawa Senators back in the Stanley Cup Finals again. If you think about it, in this universe, they won the Stanley Cup before we traded away Forsberg. Then we beat them in the Stanley Cup Final, what was it, last year? Or the year before that? I forget which one it was. And now they're back in the Stanley Cup Final. Oh, no, that's the Conference Finals. Whoa, my bad, my bad. My bad, my bad. I made a mistake. Dumbass, dumbass, idiot. Yep, yep, yep. Hopefully they still get through so I can just be like, yep, I'm, I'm right. I can just say the exact same thing. 1-1, one, 2-0. One, 2-1 two two, for Anaheim. Anaheim's going to beat Colorado. There you go. Colorado better win. I want to know that I lost to the best team. Yeah, so, like, in this universe, the Ottawa Senators, right? They're a good team. They've made the Stanley Cup Finals three years in, like, the last four or five, right? Yeah, there you go, dumbasses. There you go. Uh, Anaheim, Colorado. It's going to be the Anaheim Ducks versus the Ottawa Senators. <sighs> the Ducks. I didn't even lose to the team that got to the uh, to the Stanley Cup Finals. So, Trevor Zegers, hey, the former Avalanche, Alex Newhook, and Vladimir Tarasenko. All right, I mean, I guess the Avalanche had, like, uh, Rantanen and McKinnon, and then, like, uh, Dorfeyev, an 87 overall. So, that's pretty good. Uh, Braithwaite, Lundstrup, and Schmaltz. Man, I can't even talk right now. What the hell's going on? Indigestion or something. Mintyukov, Favreau. I mean, God, this team won. This team won. I guess a goaltender, Michael Panic. All right, Michael Panic. Maybe he's just having a stellar freaking season. And then the Ottawa Senators. Oh, yeah, this is a matchup. This is a rematch from 2007. Yeah, Gustafson, uh, Ben DeHaan, Stutzel, and Debrinkit. There you go. That looks like a good line. Kachuk, Mercer, and Holmes. There you go. This looks like a good team. Cook, Kanyemi, and Farabee. That'll look. Defenseman, Korchinski, Foot, Cernak. A little bit uh, weak of a blue line, but a very strong forward core. And a weak uh, goaltender. But again, that's the way I'd want to build the team, right? For offense. So if I got to choose, I'm going with the Ottawa Senators here. I think they're going to get it done. So advance the day and see what we have. Game one goes to the Sens. All right. Game two goes to the Ducks. Game three goes to the Sens. What was it in 2007? The Ducks won like five games, right? Oh, revenge for 2007? And the Ottawa Senators are once again your Stanley Cup champions. Good job, Ottawa. Way to go. So uh, when we traded them Philip Forsberg, he didn't get a cup with them. But uh, they didn't slow down their franchise at all. They're a good team. All right, so let's sim to the draft. See what we got going on. Uh, salary cap, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Buffalo Sabres moved from 10 to 1. Wasn't that like last year? Detroit moved from 10 to 1? Damn, number 10 is the hot ticket right now. The Sabres from 10 to 1. Jeez, they hit that one. Awards, yeah, we're going to end the video right here. I'm going to do, uh, we're going to do a whole review of it. Don't worry. Retired players, Marchand, he's got to go. Fine, fucking Lee. Brad Marchand at 44 years of age at 71 overall has decided to retire, but not before putting together a pretty good fucking career. 723 goals, 902 assists. Jeez. For a third rounder, pretty, pretty good. Uh, Hubert Doe, uh, 39. He's going. That's too early, my man. Taylor Hall, Forsberg, Tarasenko. Philip Forsberg, he retired with Buffalo. Sorry, Forsberg. Uh, Morgan Riley, yeah, and goaltenders. Billy Huso, Corpusalo. All right, cool. Coach retirement, very good. Coach retirement. That's another thing I just thought of. Hang on a second. Gail Gordon, you piece of shit. Isn't your power play and your offense A+. Plus? A+. Plus. How is my power play that... It is what it is. It's EA Sports. Just deal with it. All right, so view contracts. Let's see if any of our uh, forwards grew. So Anisimov, <laughs> he, I think he dropped. Even though he's got high franchise, he didn't have like the 100-point season, so he dropped. Uh, Lavalley. <gasps> Lavalley got to high elite. Woohoo! All right, so they're both like 24 years of age. These guys are going to age very nicely for us. So like one or two more years of growth for these two guys. Oh, elites. Yeah, LaValle had a great run. McTavish, Tomasino. Hey, Tomasino grew to 89. Drysdale, Chara, Fotinos. Looks like Fotinos is capped off. 
Kovalev, blah, 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 blah. In the system, Panayi and Long. Yeah, what about our goaltenders? Askarov, yeah. See, Askarov was a 90. Then he had a bad season, dropped down to 87. We didn't have a good regular season again, dropped down to 86. Might be time to move on from Yaroslav Askarov. But under the right circumstances, right? In a situation where... It's like, thank you for your time, Askarov. Now go play somewhere else. Go play where you want to play. Not under bad circumstances where it's like, he's the reason we lost. He's not the reason we lost this year. He is not the reason we lost this year. But I could free up $6 million and he's 30 years of age. I only have one more year with him before I have to decide. It might be time for Askarov. It might be time for us to completely reshape this team. I mean, if, uh, if uh, what's his name? If Kovalev and Poirier are gone, it might be time for, uh, for uh, Askarov to be gone as well. All right, so that's that. Let's take a look at the awards, shall we? Uh, I mean, we gave it a chance with the three-peat. We thought that this team, they got it done once, they can do it again. Apparently not. So, yeah, the Ottawa Senators, they won in 21, uh, 2032 and in 2028, but they also lost to us. In, was it last year they lost to us, or was it? I forget when it was Boston and when it was Ottawa. But um, they've been to the Cup Finals three times in the last five years. They're a good team. President's Trophy goes to Vancouver. Clarence, yeah, I think we beat Anaheim in the conference finals either last year or the year before that as well. So Anaheim's been there knocking on the door. Uh, individual awards, Sam Reiner. Oh, this fucking game. Hart Memorial, Kaltenainen. Is that a goalie? James Norris goes to Owen Power. Finally, someone other than Makar. Lady Bing, Calder Memorial goes to Scroder. That was the draft pick. That uh, power forward, Brady Kachuk wins the con Smythe. So Stutzel and Kachuk both got one. Uh, Vesna goes, an 80 overall goaltender wins the Vesna. Let me just say that again. An 80 overall goaltender wins the Vesna. I'm getting rid of Yaroslav Askarov. It's just, it, it, there's no point. Goaltenders are fucking all over the place in this game. William M. Jennings goes to Vanasek. Bill Masterton goes to Johnson. Uh, Jack Adams goes to Jay Hall. Frank J. Selke goes to Eklund. Eklund changing teams, still winning the friggin', uh, uh, what's it called? Still winning the uh, Frank J. Selke. And the Ted Lindsay goes to uh, Carlton. And Maurice Richard goes to Gabriel Esposito or George Esposito. One of those guys. All right, very good. Very good. Uh, let's take a look at the draft class upcoming for this year. What do we got? Anything spectacular? So just power forward, defensive defenseman. Again, there's just no offensive defenseman coming into the league. Hey, Taylor Bendahan. It's Bendahan's younger brother. He just won the Stanley Cup. There you go. Uh, Saunders would be a nice power forward to get our hands on, but we're not doing that. All right. And other than that, we are pretty much good. So... Thank you, everyone, for showing up. YouTube, I apologize for not being able to deliver the three Stanley Cups in a row. Um, and I think this series is coming to an end. I think we're going to try it one more time, maybe two more times, so we can get three in five years. And then we'll do a stream where we just do a quick simulation to get ten years done. And then we can jump over to NHL 24. All right, it's been a great ride. We've seen success. But every great ride has to come to an end. We just got to remember the great moments that we enjoyed along the way. See you guys next time.